In this video, we're going to talk about a few other ways of selecting elements aside from the three main ones that we've seen so far. And just to recap, those three are the element selector, the class, and the ID selector. So element would look like li, class would look like dot hello, and ID is with the octothorpe or hash symbol. And whatever we put inside, we'll target an ID or a class or all elements of a type. So those are three possible ways of selecting elements, but there are a lot more. And we're going to focus on five here, and these five are ones that I think are the most important, the most common, but there are a lot more. In fact, there's this article that I've linked to in the description on Tuts Plus. It's a free article. It's really great. It's called The 30 CSS Selectors You Must Memorize. And before you panic, you do not need to memorize these. You will naturally memorize the more important ones and the ones that we use all the time. But the point of this article is to say that there are at least 30 good ones that you should know about, not to mention um, if these are the only 30 that you need to memorize, that's still quite a bit. And there are a lot more that this article would suggest you don't need to know about. So the point is, there's a lot of different ways of doing this. This article, it highlights 30 of them. And I'm just going to go through five or six of the more important ones. So I recommend that you give this a read through. There's going to be an exercise in the uh, next video that encompasses a lot of what's covered in this article, as well as what we cover um, over here in our text editor. So I have some basic HTML. I'm not going to go through the process of creating the file. This is not one that you need necessarily to code along with. But it's some basic HTML. It looks like this, where we have an H1. We have a link that goes to Google. We have a UL with three LIs. Then we have an H4, and then another UL with three LIs, and then another H4, and then one more UL with three LIs, but each LI now has a link. And the first one also goes to Google, like this link up here. Then the other one goes to Facebook, and the last one goes to Reddit. So simple markup. And then I have a style sheet included called Selector CSS. So in here, we're going to fill out our CSS. So the very first one that we're going to talk about is called the star selector. And it's with, with an asterisk, and it will select everything on the page. So this is not something that you actually want to do all that often, but it looks like this. And then whatever we do will actually apply to every single element. So I'm going to give everything an element of one pixel solid light gray. And you can see when I do that, every single element on the page, the body, the H1, every link, UL, LI, um, and H4, all get a border around them. So this isn't something you need to do a lot, but you will see it occasionally. The next one is the descendant selector. And this one you'll use and see all the time. So the way that the descendant selector works is that it takes two or more tag names or two or more selectors and it, you chain them together. So I'll give you an example. If I want to select all of the anchor tags that are inside of an LI, only the anchor tags inside of an LI, not the, the anchor tag up here that's just on its own, I want to select all anchor tags that are descendants of an LI. So to do that, the syntax looks like LI space, and then anchor tag. So this will select everything that is an A tag inside of an LI. And we could keep going with this if we had more. So I could also rewrite this like this. Every anchor tag that's inside of an LI that's inside of a UL, which is what we have here, but that's redundant in our case. And I could also say every anchor tag or everything with the class hello inside of an LI, but we don't have any markup that matches that. So every anchor tag inside of an LI, and let's just give it a color of red. And we refresh, and you can see those three anchor tags are red. This one is unchanged. Next up is the adjacent selector. So what the adjacent selector will do is it will let, let us select elements that come after another element. So not nested inside, like this is an LI nested in a UL, it allows us to select a sibling. So we're going to select all ULs that come after an H4. 
And by after, we mean just on the same level, so not indented, not inside the H4, but directly after, just as a sibling on the same level uh, of an H4. So that's called the adjacent selector, and it looks like this. We're going to say H4 plus UL. So without the plus, this would be all ULs inside an H4, but with the plus, it just is ULs that are adjacent to an H4. And I'm just gonna give a border, let's do four pixels solid red, and we should see these two ULs that are adjacent, they come after this H4 on the same level, have a red border. So one more that I want to show, this, this is also a really important one, is called the attribute selector. And so the attribute selector is a way to select elements based off of any attribute. So in our case, we're going to do um, a selection based off of the href attribute. We're going to check, um, we're going to turn all the links to Google, where href is google.com. We're going to make them one color. But you could also use this to select all images of a particular source or all inputs of a particular type, like all checkboxes, or all password fields or something. So the syntax, we type anchor tag, and then square braces, and then inside, we're gonna type the attribute that we're looking for. So href equals, and then we're gonna do the links to Google. So this will select every anchor tag with href equal to this. And then we're just gonna give it a color. Let's give it a background, um, blue. And you can see these two links, this first one goes to Google and this second one goes to Google. So they are blue, but the other two links don't go to Google. They go to Facebook and to Reddit, so they are unchanged. So you might also, and you will actually see this one a lot, where we'll have an input type equals text. If you wanted to uh, style all text inputs differently, or if you wanted to style all checkboxes one way. Because all inputs, um, even though there's so many different inputs, color, uh, color inputs and file pickers and password and emails and submit buttons, they are all an input tag. So just to select by input, is gonna give us all different types of inputs. So we often select by type. So let's go back to our Google href selector. So there's one more that I wanna talk about here, which is called nth of type. And the way that nth of type works is it takes a number like three or five, and then it selects every nth of a specific element. So if I wanted to select every fifth div or every second um, li or the, the tenth paragraph on a page, I could use nth of type. So in this case, if I want to select the final ul and do something to the final ul, the third one, let's say I want to give it a different border um, or a different background, I'll select ul colon nth of type and then a number like three and then I'm going to say background and let's give it um, an obvious background like purple. And you can see only the third um, UL turned purple. So this is useful if you wanna select something down the page. One thing that I should note though, is the way that this works is, let's go to an LI and change the third LI. And before I do that, I want you to, to imagine what you think is gonna happen. So this is supposed to select the third li, so that would be this one here, I guess. But as I refresh, you'll see it actually selects every third li. So from every group of li's, it's going to select the third one. Um, and so if I had a bunch more, it's important to note that it still only selects the third in a given group. So it's not every third one as if uh, it would select asparagus again and then asparagus again, it's just in every group of them, it's going to select the third one. There is, however, a way to get it to select an even number. So I can select every other LI and make it purple, like this. 